You ever walk into a room and see two guys watching a football game, and it takes you a minute to figure out if it's real or are they playing a video game? There's way too many graphics on my screen when I'm watching football. You got that yellow first down line, uh, the red zone line. They take up half the screen with the team logo showing who has the ball, plus a yard and down graphic. Add in the score and the play clock, as well as the ticker at the bottom of the screen. It's like looking at a kid's video game. It detracts from the game and is actually a distraction for me. Especially if you're watching the game, you don't need all that info. All those useless graphics. It used to be when there was a game on TV, all that was on the screen was the game. If you wanted to know the score because you stepped away to use the restroom, you would wait until the announcers told you, or you would have to wait for a commercial break. I had no problem with that. The good old days. So let's go. Lino Donoso Galada, pitcher, lefty, NLB debut 1947, MLB debut 1955. Born in Havana, Cuba, Lino would start his career there, then moved on to the Mexican League, then to the Negro Leagues, where he would win a World Series with the New York Cubans in 1947, along with his teammate Minnie Minoso. In 1954, at the age of 32, Lino was the Pacific Coast League Rookie of the Year and selected to the All-Star team. He had 19 wins and only 8 losses while pitching for the Hollywood Stars. But he started out that season 15-3 and three before his appendectomy. He started 1955 with the Hollywood Stars but was called up to the bigs for the first time by the Stars' parent team, the Pittsburgh Pirates, and was with the club for the rest of the season and part of 1956 season before being sent back down. He would finish his career in 1962, back where he pretty much started his career, the Mexican League. He was a star there and would be only the 10th pitcher in that league's history to win 100 games. Lino has a few Cuban cards that I saw. They were in rough shape. Lino was elected to the Mexican Baseball Hall of Fame in 1988. He passed away in Mexico in 1990. If you were a black or Latin ball player playing in Mexico back then, they say you were treated like a star and could live like a king without all the prejudice that was in MLB and back in the States. Getting back to gimmicky graphics on my TV screen, the latest gimmick is in the NBA. During a game when a player attempts a three-point shot, a graphic pops up showing how many feet away from the basket he was when he took that shot. Who cares? That has to be some of the most useless information I can think of. Oh, gamblers care. Just another thing to bet on. That's why there's a ticker at the bottom of the screen for most sports. Just another reason sports is being ruined. All these sports leagues and TV stations are bowing down to a variety of abnormal group agendas that have nothing to do with sports. Of course they do it for the dollar. They have no problem catering to the degenerate gamblers the lazy uneducated who fill our prisons, and the twisted deviant 1% that made me dislike rainbows. And I used to like rainbows. You see any rainbows out there? No? Good.